What is going on, guys? It's Chu here bringing you a another review on Origaru. This has been something that I have looked forward to, and I completely, and I apologize for this, forgot about this coming out. This came out about a week ago, or maybe even longer. Yeah, this because I think it was supposed to come out in April, and I, we are in the middle of May, and I apologize for that. But the episode is out, and we have lots to talk about. But before we continue, guys, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out tremendously to the channel, and I would appreciate the support you guys give because it means the world to me. But let's get to it. So, this episode, we got a little bit of everything. We actually saw Iroha, or Iroha actually in the club room. We see that Komachi is now in the story as the club president. I do like them. We have Hiki and Yukino being a couple. Uh, I guess you could say that in quotation marks. But things have been very rocky between the two of them. They've gone times where they're actually not really talking. And now a big momentous occasion is about to occur. We find out that Komachi is also talking to Haruno uh, on a regular basis as obviously, you know, the sisters are now closer than ever because of the fact that their siblings are dating each other. But we find out from Komachi that tonight we are going to have, uh, well, Hiki is going to have dinner with mother, which is fun. While the other three stooges, Yui, Komachi and Iroha decide to go out for themselves and I do like the way they interact with each other Komachi and Iroha do not hold their tongue back Yui of course she's she's a bit of a weasel I'll say but she definitely um tries to be kind of like the balancing act for these two and for the group in general like she's always that person to kind of be the level-headed nice maybe a little too goody shoes uh too I don't even know if that's the right word, but the, that person and tries to help out. We have this little moment here with Yukino and um, Hiki where they're both on their way to seeing Mother and going to a restaurant that they frequent a lot. And we actually have him having to wear a tie to try to impress Mom. Conversation is funny as he feels like he's being tested and he might have very well been. Uh, but the conversation doesn't go all that great. Uh, we see that he accidentally kind of gets a little too comfortable. He sees the similarities between Yukino and her mother, and he accidentally kind of talks to her that way. And of course, she finds this to be a bit like, okay, a little more at ease, not be so stiff. Haruno being kind of a weenie in this episode as well we see that she's kind of like a goof uh which was nice to see her though i really appreciate having to see her i do love that uh yukino every little bit she got the chance she tried to correct him by like you know pinching him and whatnot which was fun but to be honest the dinner did not go well at all while this is happening we see the girls trying to give yui that push i was like look they're not necessarily together there's that awkward moments and you could kind of sneak in you know giving bad advice to yui in my opinion uh obviously yui actually listens to this which is kind of surprising because the following day we notice that there is a weird aura between yukino and uh hachiman or hiki we see that they are not exactly on the best of terms uh because of what happened and so we have yui basically saying let's go on a date and weirdly enough not really really weird here but hiki actually accepts to go on a date with her they both go to the aquarium which has become a very popular place especially for season two where we had hiki basically having a tough decision you know and he goes there with her takes a lot of pictures see the penguins obviously yui actually comes clean the same scene that or the same place that we saw in season two in the finale we actually have yui coming clean to him saying you know i want you to notice how i feel and i don't want i want you to know this you know i'm not gonna give up until i get tired of it you know i'm going to be that person um hiki of course is in a very tough spot because of how she is and what she says and he hopes that one day someone gives a confession of that sorts to her because she deserves that happiness in his opinion 
And so it is kind of a bittersweet moment for Yui fans to see this. But I will say, you know, props to her. You know, she was holding back a lot of the times. So even though the advice wasn't the be necessarily the best from Aroha and Komachi, we see that this was actually the push that maybe she needed to go and be more upfront as she thinks that there's still a possibility to win Hiki over. And so the following day, we actually have... Um, Komachi giving uh, Yukino a gift and we have Yukino saying to Hiki, he's like, look, next time be like this with my mom. I need you to be a little more forward and a little more assertive. And so like we have Yukino basically telling him like there will be a next time. You will meet my mom. And I love this little exchange between the like all three of them with Yui, uh, Yukino and, ha and uh, Hiki. All three of them, you know, like seeing how they they talk about the desserts obviously it's a little further than that because we're talking about having hiki to themselves they kind of like declare war to each other which i actually love but iroha also joins in kind of being like the third wheel but we know that she also has feelings for him so i do love how the episode ends in this weird fashion but it is typical origaro style but i now just want more because of the way this ended but a cool ending let me know what you guys think, though. I'd love to know your thoughts. As always, I'll stay safe, and I will catch you all later.